No cross. We go down today. If you are saying amen, say it better amen. amen. I want to say to someone here, whatever is behind your tears must let you go today. Amen. Tell your neighbor, enough is enough. Enough, is enough. I stand with God's grace and authority to let you know that the power behind your shame will be laid to rest today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whoever vowed you will not marry, if they escape this road today, I am not sent to Lafia. Yeah. Whatever they have done against you, we backfire today. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. amen. Just like the testimony that was read, anyone monitoring your matter, today we have brought them to the courts. They will be quenched forever. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. If someone is in church on assignment to monitor you, I guarantee you the person will be buried. Amen. Scripture says, Let the wicked perish at the presence. Thank you for coming. This will be your last assignment forever. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. God's servant sent a message yesterday. Whatever is enough that you don't want to see again, write it down. Carry your paper and viral. Trouble deal. There is trouble for your enemy today. If you don't like write, if you don't want to write, just but I want to let you know something must happen today. Amen. Bewitchment must end today. Monetary mirror must catch fire today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Sponsorers of information that they are using to attack you, the attacker will attack them today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Pastor, I think you need to provide oil because um, something will happen. I don't know whether they came with oil. You know, they don't like coming with oil. Yeah? They are always Nathaniel. Right? What, if your family has been going through poverty, enough is enough. You never tire to beg. If you have been going through marital disappointment, enough is enough. Anytime money enters your hand, that's when things will begin to spoil in your house. Enough is enough. If someone has vowed that your story will not change, put the person's name. Put it. I say put it. He told you openly or not that uh, put it. Have you finished writing? It's okay. Father, you ordain this anointing service to end tears. Today, because you never fail and you never lie, confirm your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let no situation cross today. Amen. Let no weeping cross today. Amen. Let no strong man cross today. Amen. Let no strong woman cross today. Amen. Whoever is behind your misfortune and tears. I speak under this platform on authority. They will not cross 17th of June 2018. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whoever needs to be plagued for your story to change, let them come under divine plague. Amen. 
Whoever needs to be laid to rest for things to work well for you, let them be laid to rest. Amen. Whoever needs to go down for your story to turn around, Lord, today they must go down. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Any man or woman that subjected you to that condition, I decree today they will carry their evil load. Amen. Today they will carry their evil load. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put those hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. God bless you. In our pursuit for kingdom progress, kingdom success, kingdom advancement, the greatest desire of God is that we grow to become like him. Becoming like God. Scripture said, they know not, neither will they understand. All the foundation of the earth are out of God. I have said, ye are God's. Love is the principal nature of God. If you are not growing in love, you are not growing in God. Your growing in God is a function of you growing in love. So it is not optional. It is mandatory. Scripture talks about conforming unto the image of the Son of God. So growing in love is growing in God. And the more you grow in God, the more things work well for you. The lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Nobody can get this done for you. You must commit yourself to make it work. Whatever you don't work, never works. Whatever you don't work, never what? Works. If it is working, someone is working it out. If it is not working, someone is not doing anything about it. You can be in church and be frowning face. It's a sign that your carnal nature has dominated your God nature. You can be in church, something can be going and you do. It's your witchcraft nature. I'm telling you the truth. How can you be in the house of God? Now which they do? The person didn't come to church. He didn't come to church. You came as an observer. You didn't come like one that wants to meet with God. I've not said to the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. What Jesus asked, what did you go out to see? When you come to church, what did you come to see? To meet with God or to look at faces? Or to look at who you are angry with or who doesn't like your face? No, you are here for an encounter with God. They go from strength to strength. Everyone appearing before God in Zion. They go. So your coming to church is to increase your passion for God. To increase your love for God. David said, my love and my affection is set towards the house of my God. The moment you begin to lose your passion for God, check it, your love for God is dying. It's just like a man. The moment your passion for your wife begins to die, I want to assure you, another woman don't they collect you somewhere. 
Don't they collect you? I was so busy in the office today. The workload is increasing. Just be praying for me. The person you are praying for is another person's house eating a pande diam and a goosey. Am I saying something to somebody? I remember one of our sisters, a member of this church. The husband got his job, banking job, at least for family to live better. She now made up her mind that uh, she will stay in Delta. The husband was in Lagos and be doing teaching job. So all of a sudden, the man stopped calling. When calls begin to go from 6 to 3 and 3 to 0, something don't happen. He used to call you six times. Where are you now? Are you on your way? Have you gone to church? No, nah, no call. Kekereke. I hope you know you are in trouble. So she now came and was complaining that he no longer calls me. If I call, he doesn't pick my call. I asked her, where are you? She said, she's a, she's a lecturer. I said, you will soon get number two. He said, but we agreed. I said, shut up. Your home first. You either you join him or he joins you. People should go and arrange it. I said, Where are the children? He said, They are there. I said, <laughs> You better be careful, though. They can be cooking the soup and be bringing it. Is their auntie. <laughs> From auntie, you will become second wife. I might say something to somebody. As I said, she now traveled. When she now traveled, she didn't tell the man. I told her, don't tell him that you are coming. Just go so that you can see the film where. When she now traveled, The lady in the office follows the man to the house. After reaching the house, he will now go and drop the lady in her own house. Now that day, the whole thing, the whole film finish. And when I call the husband to rebuke him, he say, Daddy, I am not at fault. She opened this door of attack. May you not open a door of attack. I don't know where I'm going this direction this morning. It's like somebody needs this deliverance. He said, I pleaded with her to come. We'll get a new job for her. At most, it will take one month, two months, but we must get a job for her. But she insisted that it's a, a lecturing job because she's a master's degree. You know, your, your degree can confuse you. Your degree can make you misbehave very well. Instead of being a homely mother, you are now educated mumu. <laughs> you can misbehave. He said, Daddy, I will not lie to you. I've started sleeping with the lady. I will not lie to you. I'm telling you all my sins now. But she cost it. I'm saying to someone this morning, return back to your first love. That journey is not a good journey. You may die in the process. I'm talking to somebody. This is prophetic. I'm talking to somebody. You may die in the process if you don't turn back. For your information, such ladies operate with charm. Maybe you don't know. They can even be in church. They can be following you to church. You will come for first service, they will come for second service. When they charm you, you can't know your wife again. But God forbid. As I'm talking now, whatever bonded you with that strange woman, I set it on fire. 
I command destruction to that evil relationship. Whatever she put in your foot to steal your heart, I command by fire, let your heart be recovered. The person is not even saying amen. But they see road. But thank God you are in church. Under the influence of my voice, I decree you delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are continuing. So growing in love is growing in God. Don't allow people to deform your God nature. Don't allow people to kill your passion for God. If you are not growing in love, you can't grow in God. Hear me? Should I tell you something? I, the Lord, search the hearts and I examine the race to reward every man according to his deed. No one can define for you whether you are walking in love or you are not walking in love. Your heart will tell God. What did I say? Your heart will tell God whether you are walking in love or you are not walking in love. One proof of your commitment is pursuit. Say with me, pursuit. Anything you are committed to, you are bound to pursue it. And when God sees that you are committed to pursuing his kingdom, the things that interest him, the things that get him excited, you become an evidential carrier of favor. The favor of God is for people that are after his heart. If your heart is not after his heart, you can't carry his favor. You can't carry his favor. You favor those who love you with addiction. Without reservation. They don't even need to ask for it. You are giving it to them. So when you pursue God's heart of love by advancing his church sweatlessly you carry his favor. You cannot be committed to God and be favored less in life. It is not possible. If it were to be so, I would have looked for another job. If pursuing God reduces favor, I would have looked for another job since. Thank God I have certificates. And apart from certificates, Inside my DNA is business. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I will have looked for another job. But pursuing God has brought me to where I am. So I don't need to reduce it, but rather I should increase it. Tell your neighbor, increase it. When you hear Papa say that serving God pays, it is not fake. It is real. What others are struggling to get, favor is putting in your hand. Doors that cannot open for others because of favor, those doors are opening for you. You have not proved it, that's why it, is not, it has not worked for you. When you make up your mind to prove it, you will experience the marvelous favor, unreserved favor of God. Favor is a product of seed sow. You sow favor, you reap favor. God said, gather them that favor my righteous cause. Let's read it, Psalm 102, verse 13. Psalm 102, verse 13. 
Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Verse 14. For thy servants, not one, there are others scattered across the globe, take pleasure in the stones and favor the dust thereof. The stone talks about the building, the dust talks about the humans. And favor the dust thereof. Look at verse 15 now. So the hidden shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. He will favor you because your affection is towards him and towards his house. Towards his house and towards his children. So as you are growing in love, one thing will be evident. Favor. Favor. They got not the land in possession by their arm. Neither did their own arm save them. But I am and the light of thy countenance because thou hadest a favor unto them. So God shows you favor because of your growing love towards his house. And much more importantly, every time you pursue the favor of God, you cheaply get answer to prayers. You shall call, I will answer. But hear me. People that walk, let me put it this way. People that labor for you, I'm sure you know what they need. Even if you don't know what they need, because you are using something too, you are, what I mean by you are using something, you have needs that must be met. As you are meeting your own need, you are meeting their own need. I might say something to somebody. Answer to prayer is cheap when you are in love with God. People you truly love, they don't struggle to get things. Do they struggle? No. Before they call, you have already put it in their hand. I might say something to somebody. He said, before you call, I will answer. Why you are here speaking, I will do what? Perform. Before you call, I will answer. I will answer. Now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. I like this kind of favor. Just like someone just come here and say, he said, something was telling me that I must call you today. I must call you today. I must call you today. I said, I hope all is well. He said, he said, you have forgotten me. I said, don't you have my number? As we just finished talking, 3,900 recharge card just dropped. Boa. So I was wondering, where did this one come from? He said, sir, I just sent you 3,000. I said, I said, the Lord increased you plenty. After I sent the message, the Lord increased you plenty. He said, sir, can, can I just uh, have your account number? I want to drop something. Tell your neighbor, I want to drop something. Somebody will drop something for you. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Was I looking for money or begging for money? No. No. Say with me, favor. favor. That favor will answer to someone today. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Some people have gotten jobs that they did not apply for. Who submitted your CV? You don't even know. Am I saying something to someone? It has happened plenty times. It has happened plenty times. It has happened plenty times. So in every area of life, God has a way of favoring you. Why? Because your heart is after his house. Your heart is after his people. Likewise, every time you are growing in love, you grow in unction. Your oil level never goes down because you are serving, but rather your oil level increases. 
Jesus was increasing in unction because he was never going down in compassion. Wherever God sees compassion, he releases unction. What guarantees the release of unction for you is what we call compassion. Compassion. The reason why God is anointing you is not for show. It's because he knows that every time he releases fresh oil upon you, you are going to use it to bless someone. You are going to use it to wipe away somebody's tears. You are going to use it to lift someone up. So the essence of the oil is for service. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good so the oil is to do good who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil what increases financial power is not work oh oh lord if you have blessed me now I will have paid this child school fees if you have blessed me now, I will have helped this person to rise. But do you know what? If you want to be poor, if you want to be poor, it's not work that you need to look for. Just take your eyes off people. Poverty has met you. The cheapest way to secure poverty, the cheapest way, do like this. You become what? Whether you call it aradite, akagom, or stingy. Money does not flow to people whose hands are tight. Scripture say a liberal soul shall be made what? Fat. But what brings about the flow? You say, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that gives her the power to do what? That power does not flow anyhow. I can even borrow you my oil. If it's not in your heart, this oil can't work. God checks the heart before the oil works. My sense of it to somebody. So when your heart is ready to be a blessing, God releases new oil for you. New oil. Today you will carry new oil. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The oil that will terminate shame will drop upon you today. Amen. The oil that will terminate reproach will drop upon you today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. In line with enough is enough. You must say to yourself, enough of stinginess. You are only talking of the one you want to do. Enough of what? Enough of tight hand. Do you know you can have money and be wicked? When I get money, I go show her. You know who will get her? That's why God makes sure the money doesn't come to such people. Money is not for revenge. Let my enemy live long and see what I will be in the future. You will be poor in the future. Should I say something? Your enemy does not need to live long to see what you will be in the future. In fact, when you get the money, bless the so-called enemy. Because when you are blessing them, you are shorting their mouth. Some of you that I'm seeing now, some people have vowed you will never be rich. But hear me, you will be rich. Yeah. And the good revenge I will want you to do, pay their children's school fees. You better say good amen. Yeah. 
because I know it's going to come to pass. Yeah. Not only pay their children's school fees, buy them a car. Yeah. You're not saying amen. Yeah. Don't only buy them a car, build them a house. Yeah. <laughs> Your enemy is in trouble. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. It is coming to pass. I'm saying something to someone. I say it is coming to pass for you. Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 3. You have come past this mountain long enough. Say with me, enough. Turn you not what? You have been dancing around that problem long enough. You have tolerated the problem long enough. You have endured the mockery long enough. Say with me, enough. enough. Anything you don't confront is permitted to remain in your front. If you are not tired of the problem, the problem is tired of you. You have tolerated that situation enough. You have tolerated that unworkable relationship enough. It's time to turn. Tell your neighbor it's time to turn. There are some sisters that need special deliverance. They know the relationship will not work. But they still want to bury their head there. May you not die there. Yeah. I'm talking to someone now. You have seen all the necessary signs that it will not work. But you are still saying it will change. It will change you. God is saying to you, enough is enough. Turn. Turn your labor, turn. Enough of disappointments. Enough of setback. Enough of weeping. Enough of rejection. If you have been rejected, there is a place you will be accepted. Stop having hanging around and be begging, mumu begging. I don't go to where I am tolerated. I only go to where I am celebrated. If I make no meaning to you, there is someone that needs me for laughter. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yeah. If I mean nothing to you, there is someone that my, my life will be of value to. Stop hanging around where you are not being appreciated. I tell you the truth this morning and I lie not. You decide when your story will change, not God. The day you are ready, you will see power. The day you are ready, heaven will stand at attention. This prayer that one day God will do it is a foolish man prayer. Scripture says, now, say with me, now. now. Faith is. Faith is potent the day you are ready. When you say my tears will end, heaven must respond.
I remember one young, one young man, very, very daring, hardworking. He has been married for three years. But he had one challenge. Anytime he's meeting with his wife, I don't know what he's doing him. He said, he said, sir, but I know something is wrong. He said, anytime I'm meeting with my wife, my manhood will just collapse. He said, I've been enduring it, I've been enduring it, I've been enduring it. He said, I am telling you now because I know only God can help me. He now went to another city. Say with me, another city. To go and sleep with another woman. His man who didn't collapse. When he finished from there, he drove straight to church. He started crying. He said, God can solve my matter. Pastor, help me. I said, go and call your wife. When he called the wife, they came. I said, repeat what you said. He repeated it. The wife was crying. He said, Pastor, I've been ashamed to say it. But thank God he has said it. I said, now that you know that God can do it, God will do it. I gave them prayers to go and pray. I knew it was a marine attack. Anyone here under any marine attack whether spirit husband or spirit wife if they don't die today scripture says whosoever defileth this temple god himself shall do what so by the anointing that strange attacker will be destroyed so i gave them prayer they went and prayed and came back later in the evening and I anointed them. As I anointed them, I said, go. God has taken over. Guess what? They have three now. The day you are ready, the challenge will bow. Your challenge is weakened the day your faith rise up. The challenge is weakened. The day your faith rise up. For him that day enough is enough. Proverbs 23 and verse 18. Surely there is an end. And thy expectation shall know what? So it is your faith that determines the day it will end. It is your faith that determines the day it will end. I remember the testimony of a sister. She came for Shiloh 2007. She went a relationship. No do, no do. The thing will just scatter mysteriously. The day she was coming to Shiloh, the present one that she was having then, the young man now called and said that... Um, I don't think we can go on again. She told herself, enough is enough. When she went to Shiloh, that was her prayer cry. Lord, not this time again. As she came back for Shiloh, the man came back. Said that he didn't know what came over him. But his head is correct now. They can go and see the parents. Should I say something to you? Whatever is manipulating failure and disappointment in your life, today will mark their end. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Every challenge has an expiring date. No one determines the expiring date other than you. Other than who? I'm the one that determines the expiring date. If I say this problem will go down, it must go down. Hear me? Do you know the day you make up your mind that a challenge will expire, 
all the spiritual energy you never had before will come alive. All the prayer potentials you never had before will come alive. The first thing you have never done before will come. Why? This thing must end. It must end. I'm saying to someone, your own will end. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. It takes the violence of faith to make an end a challenge. It takes the violence of faith. Don't misinterpret that word. That word violence is our principal nature. It's our principal nature. You need violence to enter into your actual destiny. You can't be watching your destiny go the way the enemy wants it. Your destiny is to go the way God has planned it. Since the day of John the Baptist, Jesus talking, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Maybe you don't know what the enemy is using against you is also violence. If you are not violent, you cannot go forward. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take at it. If you are not violent, you will not take anything. Violence means becoming a risk taker. Because you have a risk bearer. God is our risk bearer. The violent take at it by force, not by dialogue. The enemy can be using violence against you and you are looking for people to go and beg. No. Go by violence. Tell your neighbor, go by violence. The violent take it by force. Papa said, holy anger is the mystery that enforces turn around. Holy anger. Say with me, holy anger. One person that scripture painted very well that had a holy anger is Jacob. I will not let thee go. Except you bless me. I've, I've tolerated this thing enough. Let today mark the end. Today something will happen to you. Yeah. I'm saying to someone, today something will happen to you. Yeah. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Verse 17. For our light affliction, which is, which is but for a what? Walk it for us, a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory but for a moment anything that is beyond a moment has entered a course and when it has entered a course you must cause it if there is anything I know the wicked, say with me, the wicked can sponsor an attack beyond a moment. Delay in marriage can be sponsored beyond a moment. Hey, see me after service. That matter will die today. You hear me? Yes, you. Anything that goes beyond a moment. It's a cause. Do you enjoy a cause? No, answer me. Do you enjoy a cause? Do you enjoy lack? Do you enjoy poverty? Anything that goes beyond a moment is a cause. 
But should I tell you something? Whoever is cursing you today, I will curse them. Yeah. I am standing here representing Bishop David Oyedepo. Whoever is cursing you, I will curse them. Yeah. Whoever is attacking you, I will attack your attackers. Anything that goes beyond a moment is a cause. And causes operate in diverse manners. It brings you into a cycle of failure. Cycle of disappointment. Cycle of rejection. Cycle of reproach. A cause brings you under attack in the night dream. Some people before miscarriage take place... Either they see red oil or they see red pepper. Either they see red pepper or they see the evil beast called spirit husband attacking them. But whichever means they are using to attack you, today the sponsor of the attack will come under attack. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. But for a moment, but for a moment. Anything that is beyond a moment is a cause. So whatever wants to keep you beyond the expiring date, they will come under vengeance in the name of Jesus. We read in that testimony, this brother was due for promotion, but he never knew what was happening to him. Not knowing that someone was perpetually bewitching him. Do you know you can be in church and be bewitched? Oh, you don't know? You can be bewitched. Someone was bewitching him. After an enough is enough service like this, the power of God struck. Went to office on a Monday and the man was now ranting, shouting at him, not knowing that the arrow has touched him. Few hours later, see lizard walking in his office. There are some places you, you are not supposed to see lizard. Am I saying something to someone? Someone went and matched the lizard and crushed it. That same day, the man started confessing and died. Watch out. I'm about saying something now. Someone will die because of you today. Anyone bewitching your life will go down today. Immediately the man died. The wife came and confessed. The wife came and confessed. That she's sorry. He's sorry of everything that has been happening. God strike her too. Anyone be involved in your matter. Mark my word. I didn't come here to play. Mark my word. Anyone involved in your matter. Attacking you craftily and secretly. The vengeance of God will strike them today. We read the other sister's testimony. Anytime pregnancy to look as if pregnancy has stayed. They will use their monitoring device. You know, they, we call them evil night watchers. There are people that are specialists in watching menstrual period. But hear me and hear me well. Today is their end. So, you will call her on phone and be asking her, how far now has the thing taking place? Has the thing taking place? And as Papa instructed, she replied, God has done it. God has done it. Immediately, she said, God has done it. The woman started shouting, my chest, my chest, my chest, my chest. And she died. Anyone shooting arrow of miscarriage against you. Oh God of Oyedeko, let your oil rise up and strike the attacker. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever vowed you will not carry your baby. I invoke the eighth grace upon my life. 
and I decree let them be crushed by vengeance I decree let them be crushed by vengeance whoever vowed you will not marry I remember a sister anytime she enters into a relationship they will mirror her and they will get her in less than three months the thing will scatter three months enough the thing will scatter three months the thing will scatter three months the thing will scatter she came this time around I said wherever they are using your picture or your name to monitor events around you father let the coven catch fire if you are saying amen say better amen and it was that bad that the moment she's in a relationship that will work out they will still assess the mother you know some mothers their mouth need the rest everything they want to talk there are some things you don't say the reason why some of you are where you are now is because you think you can talk Talk, talk. Everybody see you want to tell. You want to tell. You want to tell. That's why they are puncturing your breakthrough. Many dreams have died because some people can't keep their mouth shut. Even when the dream is about to come to pass, they will shoot you arrow. Because you can't keep your mouth shut. You think you know how to talk. Be talking. Talk, talk. The mother never knew that the person she was telling was the person shooting her daughter arrow. So when this one now came, I said, don't even tell your mother. He said, Pastor, how will she feel? I will, tell, I will pray for her in the spirit. She will not feel anyhow. Yes, I did it. So, that one was just going. So I told them, when you are ready, it's a one week action. All, all access to information blocked. I blocked the team where we They were able to buy everything that they needed. So as they went, the young man's relations, they followed immediately. So then we just want to do it quietly. Nobody must say, uh, we are not doing any elaborate celebration. It was a lie. They didn't want the hearers to hear. There are some people that must not hear your matter. I'm the one telling you, I'm your pastor. So as they went, they took the father, took the mother by surprise. This is the person that wants to marry me. And his pastor has given him, go ahead, these are his people. He's here, so, Papa, I don't agree. So, accept. Mama, we are doing introduction tomorrow. Just call the few people you call, make this matter, just finish. Immediately, they brought list. They say, no need for list. We don't already check the list, see everything here. Mama say, why don't you wait now? Now nah, I beg, wait. All the one way they say, no, no, they don't they walk. They don't walk. Make we do them quick, quick. Before you know what's happening, they finish traditional without protocol. So the next thing they were heading to the altar. Guess what happened? The people that used to scatter the thing. I'm not happy with the way you treated me. Oh, I'm not happy. All of us have been waiting for this thing, and you didn't tell me. See you. See you. All of us have been waiting for this thing. When, when we will buy Gale, buy this now nah, lie. The ones scatter them again. It took them by surprise. So they were angry. So immediately they finished that one straight. Wedding. They were busy planning the wedding in the city. They didn't even let anybody know. Only church people knew. As I'm saying it now, it's going to happen for someone like that. <laughs> Lastly, before we rise up to pray, there was one. Anytime they plan the thing, it will fail. There must be one thing that will scatter it. So, 
the old man who happened to be his father's uncle said that uh, Mary, come and marry, let me see. So she came and told me that uh, this is what the man said. I said, Lord, give him a problem that will keep him busy. Guess what? He had a bicycle accident. I didn't say motorcycle. Bicycle what? And the leg break. The leg break. You don't see bicycle accident when they break leg. The leg break. So he was on bed rest. They finished the wedding. They did traditional, did white. You know, wake up. He was on bed rest. They finished wedding, relocated to their city. Anyone that I vowed, I give them spiritual accidents. Anyone that I vow you will not marry, let angels give them divine accidents. Say, I'm a lucky believer. A sister hear the same testimony and came. That someone is troubling their family and vowed that she will not marry. I said, Lord, the same testimony you give to this sister, give to her. Guess what? He went to tap my wine. So when he was coming down, he missed the leg. So he landed with the back. As he landed with the back, he had spinal cord injury. He was on permanent bed rest. I'm praying for someone now. God will give your enemy permanent bed rest. Anyone attacking your blessing, I decree they will sustain spiritual injury. Enough is enough. Rise up to your feet. I'm not saying tomorrow Today, you will start hearing what will happen. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. If you have oil, bring it out. If you don't have oil, just open your hand. We are going to pray. Bring out that list. That you wrote. Scripture says, Weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Bring out the list. Just bring out the list. We are going to lift up your voice. In Proverbs 3, verse 27. Proverbs 3, verse 27. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due. You are due for something. Yeah. When it is in thy power of thy hand to do it. Verse 28. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again and tomorrow I will give when thou hast it by thee. God will not be more powerful tomorrow than the issue is to be today. So your matter will be attended to today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Carry that paper and pray from the depth of your heart. I'm still going to pray for you. Carry it and say, Lord, enough is enough of this matter. This matter must not cross today. Enough is enough of this reproach. Enough is enough for this disappointment. This matter must not cross today. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. 
enough is enough of this manipulation enough is enough of this satanic gang up enough is enough for this satanic failure this matter must not cross today in the name of jesus show your mighty power today enough is enough 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 he that has eyes shall he not see he that has ears shall he not hear enough is enough whatever is beyond a moment is a cause whoever is the causer whoever is sponsoring this cause against me against my family against my wife against my children oh god enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough in jesus name we have prayed have you put the oil all eyes closed all eyes bow you are here you are not born again enough is enough of postponing your new birth you will come you say no no next month not today you want to make it right with jesus right now enough of satanic manipulation over you put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me lord jesus i come unto you today i know that i am a sinner forgive me wash me with your precious blood i reject sin i reject satan come into my life be my lord be my savior in jesus name i pray if you pray that prayer with me come quickly right now we're about to enter the phase two of the prayer if you are coming come quickly put your hands together for jesus come quickly god bless you god bless you god bless you put your hands together for jesus let me welcome the person right now inside and outside you pray that prayer with me just come right now you don't need to be ashamed you pray that prayer with me just now just come right now satan has not manipulated you today if you pray that prayer with me don't touch this oil oh. just come right here now we will anoint you here if you touch this oil now heat you carry what did you hear what i said heat fire 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 burning fire if you pray that pray, just come we'll anoint you here now are you hearing what i'm saying now pastors go with this oil lord as this oil goes forth i decree whatever must not be tolerated in any life must expire today must expire today anything that represents a cause in anyone's life lord i decree let your vengeance strike today that amen is too weak whoever is the principal attacker on that issue in your life i decree today vengeance will strike on their head whoever vowed you will not marry i decree by this anointing the person will drop dead whoever vowed you will not carry your baby i decree today the person will go down the person will be laid to rest whoever vowed and locked you and your family for poverty i decree whoever is the sponsor let the vengeance or it cuts the person down say amen like a believer wherever you are tied by satanic causes i decree by the anointing the spell is broken 
lift up that oil in your hand. Lord, I decree everyone with a bottle of oil. Let the anointing become fire. Let it answer as an instrument of vengeance against their troublers. Say amen as a believer. As the oil come to you, put it upon that your paper and put it on your forehead and begin to pray. Lord, enough is enough. Whatever is behind my misfortune, let your vengeance strike in my favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, I decree by this oil, let there be a change of story for them. Let there be a change of story for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, stay here and begin to pray. Whatever is behind my misfortune, is behind my setback, enough is enough oh god by the anointing let your vengeance strike in my favor le kuria pateka meno dise le sha etoradi kekete liso sakatayata le rute predire dona zize ni katalia le randa gayaga dagaraga dagayaga da rupete liato zanadia Whatever is behind that shame, that reproach, that setback, enough is enough. Today I judge the wicked by the anointing. I command vengeance upon their head. Lerando no Rosha Club Heri Gado Satalia. Ire de Lerobo Shakatalia. Menene Ilo Baroteka. Jekotete Liadono Rusete. Ne patakatalata, Jesuseke kekerikata. I decree your vengeance. Lerondo go do go do go do go do go do. Shekula katalia. I command your vengeance. The bands of the wicked they are destroyed. La poria ne robo shakata. Lerondo robo shekotelia. Enough is enough. Whatever is behind the curse, whatever is behind the attack, whatever is behind the failure, oh God, by this oil, I command vengeance upon the wicked. I command vengeance upon the attacker. I command vengeance upon the strong man. I command vengeance upon the evil personality. Le Kotero, Jesus e Kekea, pay le route pa. Yena Roche Berusia, Eru Prake Ketoriaga, Lagaraga de Gojogodo, Libore de de Zuga Lega Rega de Gade, Lagaraga da Gayaga da Gabre. Le roda ga 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 le ga 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 zena ga ya talata jegorobo shata in Jesus name we have prayed in Jesus name we have prayed put your right hand on your head. I pray for every one of you because I am sent whoever is the strong man that is behind the course you are going through I decree today by vengeance let them swell up and die by the vengeance of the anointing let the evil personality behind the attack you are going through swell up and die wherever and whoever tied you tied your hands and your legs that you will not go beyond where you are i command by the anointing let that evil personality be wasted whoever vowed you will not marry 
if I be sent to LFC Lafia, let the vengeance of God strike the person today in the name of Jesus. Whoever is sponsoring an evil mirror, they are using to shoot arrow of miscarriage for you. Both the person and the evil high priest die by fire. By the anointing this morning, whoever is behind that misfortune in your life, swell up and die! By the event, by the vengeance of the anointing, let the person be led to rest! In the name of Jesus! I don't know who has vowed a vow for you. That over his or her dead body, will they see you carry that testimony? If God has truly called Bishop David Oyedeko, between now and the next 48 hours, I prophesy by the anointing, vengeance of God, kill the person now! In the name of Jesus! What they vowed you will never carry or never get. I decree today the door connected to that blessing is open for you. The door connected to that breakthrough is open for you. The door connected to that turnaround is open for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You will not weep again. The same way God killed the attacker of that woman. Anyone that is attacking you mysteriously. I decree by the anointing, let them die mysteriously. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Anyone that is monitoring your menstrual cycle, I'm praying for somebody now. Whatever device they are using, God of Oyedepo, kill them in the name of Jesus. Before this week is over, you will hear the news. Anyone that is using your picture, your family picture, to attack everybody in your home, if I be sent to LFC Lafia, strong man, not south, east, and west, swell up and die! In the name of Jesus! Today, is the last day of that affliction. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Wave your hand unto God and give him all the praise. Thank him. Bless his name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you, I am that I am. Mighty God, I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Put those hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. Turn and follow this man right now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Warning. No brother should or sister should now go and say, okay, let me go and try another side whether he's working. If you try it, you leave your wife or you leave your husband and say, you want to go and try it another side whether it's working.